starts with a look all that it took I feel like I had too much champagne It starts with a touch I'm lost in the rush Boy, you like bubbles in my brain You're under my skin I'm drinking you in Like I can't get enough champagne My bodies are close Need a heavier dose mm, You like bubbles in my brain Brain So first of all, you need your basic bodice pattern. We're going to be using the full bodice pattern because we are having a asymmetric design on. We're having an asymmetric design on the top part of the bodice. Um, this the Ankara prints will be using. I'm not sure I'm going to be using up to six yards. I'll tell you how many I use at the end of the day. And this is the lining. I'm using bridal satin as the lining. So let's begin. First things first, you need to create the bustier. How do we do that? You have your shoulder darts. It'll be very easy for you to do. All you need to do is tighten your shoulder dart on both sides of this bodice, okay? What do I mean by tightening? We're going to increase the size of this dart. That will snatch the um, bust well, area well. Measure what you have here. I have three inches. I'm going to split three inches into two i'll use two inches on this side towards the armhole and one inch on this side here do the same for the other place one inch here and two inches towards the armhole you go to my head i want to play it again you go to my head so that is just what it's going to be at this stage you want to determine where your bustier will sit see on your chest you want some boobs to reveal maybe here if it's on your chest this is like the perfect line i'll just go just a little bit up don't want too much boob revealing. Don't want cleavage or anything revealing. At this point, if you want a sweetheart neckline, you can fold this pattern into two and draw your sweetheart neckline here. So this is what I'm having here, here, here. Okay, so this is the bustier sitting pretty. And then we can cut this some fabric. But not yet, just yet. We have to um, complete that asymmetric design. Now for the yoke part, there's a, there's a mixture of both mesh and um, the main fabric that is used on the bustier part. We we're going to then plan out the design. So it's just coming from about here, however you want it to come, and narrowing down here that way. The rest will be the mesh, the fabric just about here. Okay, I hope you get the gist. Fabric just about here. However wide you want it to be can even make it more narrow, however I want it to be, so this is it. Please label your patterns so that you don't mix it up. I'll do an armhole that at back that way. Cut off the darts. Cut off the darts. That's all for the back. So these two pieces will join together to form the back piece. Front is ready, back is ready. Let's work on the bottom part of this dress. All right guys, so let us work on this bottom part of this dress. 
we are going to be doing a paneled dress okay very easy to do that's the paneled flare okay so my waist measurement is 35 inches right i'm then going to section that circle into eight different parts you can do 12 you can do 16 you can do 10 you can do whatever volume of panels you want to do so i'll first divide 35 by the eight panels i want to do so that i know the width of each of the panel okay so let me divide 35 divided by 8 is 4.375 that's 4.3 and I folded this paper into two. So what I'm going to be using is um, 2.18. I cannot say 2.2. .2. Okay. What will 2.2 .2 be? 2.2 .2 will be just about here. Just about 2 to fit. Um, 2 1 quarter. 2.2 .2 should just be about 2 1 quarter. So that's what I will measure at the top. Then I'll make sure that I have the length of the skirt. Remember, this is like a panel skirt that will be attached to the upper part of the dress. My half length is 16 inches and the full length of my dress is 40 inches. So I'll subtract 16 from 40 inches, which is 24 inches. That will be the length of this um, panel skirt. So 24 inches here. You can make it 25 just because of sewing allowance. The next thing is your, your division divided by 2, which we've done. So we'll come to the top and mark out 2, 1 quarter, that's 2.25. And then from there, we're going to connect it with a straight line. From that, 2.25 to 10 inches. I'm using 10 inches at the bottom because I want it full. I want it to bounce with this 10 inches at the bottom. So this is what we'll be having for the panel part of the skirt. You're going to be cutting eight pieces of this. You have to put sewing allowance or not if you don't want to. But we're cutting eight pieces of this particular panel flare. Let's begin cutting every single thing up on the fabric, get right into sewing and be done in no time. So at this stage, we have every single thing cut. <laughs> it took a while to cut. Okay, so we have the Ankara, the lining. These are the back pieces. This is the front bustier. Um is the sleeve the yoke the mesh insert um, the other part and then the lining for the panels the bustier the lining for the panels the panels itself and the paper stick so eight pieces of the ankara fabric eight pieces of this lining satin lining then eight pieces of this in total that's 24 pieces of these things you need and then all of this so eventually i used about four yards so this is what we have now i will just go over to sewing every single thing up so what i'm going to start with first of all you want to iron your um padding all the other ones will be sewn normally and then the main one i want to show you how to go about is this one that we're having 24 pieces in total this is a paper stick it's structured more like not the one that you use in bands because that one will just wash off like it's going the stiffness is going to wash off by the time you wash it but this one is more like color stay it's still sturdy even when you wash it bounces back so that's what i'm using so what i'll do is take my fabric i know my right side this is it at the end of the day, you want to sandwich this stay in between the Ankara and the lining. I hope you get the gist. You want to sandwich it in between the Ankara and the lining. So you put right side of this lining facing the right side of the Ankara. And then this stay will be underneath such that 
by the time you saw you want to draw everything at this bottom half an inch by the time you flip it this way and you turn it inside out you have this beauty i hope you get the gist so that's what i want to do you're going to do that for every single thing and then iron them up so all the eight pieces of the ankara you're going to now reduce all the 24 pieces of this particular shape we cut we're going to reduce them back to eight pieces so layer on three of them like i explained and then flip it and iron them very smoothly all right guys so far so good i have joined everything together like i explained this is what you should be having right the fabric the stay on the inside and then the lining behind okay you can see it so once you have sewn that edge at the bottom and you flip it like i explained then you go ahead to sew it raw like this you have to sew it raw this will just put your stitch through on the sides for all of them so you should be having eight panels together like this if you want more structure use something very sturdy okay use a thicker stick so these are the eight panels i will then go ahead to trim off just a little bit like all these edges that just fly away so i'll trim them off i've sewn the bodies the bustier that's the lining part just to attach the yoke up here and my sleeve is ready for installation as well and then the main fabric i'll just attach the yoke as well so let's continue the whole process and we'll be done in no time all right guys so far so good this is what we're having um, I'm loving the look. I'm loving every single thing. I'm sure you saw me attach everything to this point. Let me open it. So, this is what the inside is like. Um, I'm, just opening everything. I'm yet to join the shoulder and put the lining. Okay. But well, I've attached everything as one single piece. I hope you can see that. At this stage, it's heavy. If you use the heavier stay, of course it's going to be much more heavier and yeah it's just to finish it all we are done no hey that's true we are true this is so sweet i love it already i love the fabric i love the fit i love every single thing i'm sure you've seen it from me already and you love it as well let me know what you think in the comments below do not forget to subscribe we are true at this stage do not forget to like do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up comment below and till we see in the next tutorial, start video. Yes, fix your sleeve. Wool. I'm going to do that, of course. All these are other simple steps that you know what to do from here on. Okay, so till we see in the next tutorial, stay safe, God bless you all. Bye.